Hello friends and welcome back. Now I will show you how to pull the last and the final report that is R1 Daybook. From this you can see that I am already in the gateway of Tally under display more reports option and I am going to click on Daybook. Here you can see that the Daybook is for the date of 31st March 2021. First we will have to change it from date column to period option. And the period that we are going to put is of our financial year that is 1st April 2020 to 31st March 2021. Now as compared to the previous reports, we need to do a little more adjustments for this particular report in order to be accepted in the audit software. We need to remove any of the voucher types which do not have an impact on the trial balance. I repeat. Any of the entries on this daybook which do not have an impact on trial balance or financial statements will have to be removed from this particular report. For example, you can see on 2nd April 2020, there is an entry of stock journal of 1920 rules, which we do not want. Why? Because it has no impact on the trial balance or on the financial statements. Other such voucher types which do not have impact on trial balance are delivery note, receipt note, sales order, purchase order, physical stock, stock journal, rejection in and rejection out. Another example that I can show you for this particular report is of the entry passed on 31st March is of purchase order. Therefore, we need to remove this particular voucher type as well. The head is voucher type. And the other entries are of attendance. You can see that there is no value in debit or credit for this particular voucher type. But we will still suggest that you go ahead and remove it. Now, how to remove these voucher type? For this, we need to go in the configuration F12 arrow and then click on the range option. Or you can use a shortcut that is Alt F12 and the range of information window will open automatically. Now here I will show you what conditions we need to choose in order to remove the voucher types which we don't want. So I'm going to click on voucher having voucher type because that is the category which we are going to use as filter with name. In here I'm going to click on not containing because I am only going to mention the names of voucher type which I don't want. Not containing the first voucher type that I am going to add is of stock journal. Had this been the only voucher type which I don't want so then I would have clicked on end of list but that is not the case therefore I am going to go ahead and click on and with name not containing. Now this is that we are going to repeat for every voucher type that we don't want. So I am doing with name again not containing. Next I am going to put is attendance and the last one which I don't want and with name not containing purchase order. Therefore, before pulling out daybook report, I will suggest you that you go through the voucher type and identify any voucher types which I have mentioned before are not present and if they are, they need to be removed by this procedure. Now, apart from these three, the all other voucher types are fine that we need in our report. Therefore, I am going to make this as end of list and wait for my report to be generated. There we go. Now you can see there is no entry of stock journals or purchase order or attendance. After this, I am going to go back to my F12 configuration button and make some changes in this column. So first, we changed the period. Second, we changed the range because 
I selected the voucher type which I don't want. Lastly, I am going to make this yes for show narrations and for condensed, I am going to click on detailed. Rest everything else need not to be changed and all is fine and we can go ahead for our detailed daybook for the entire financial year to be generated. Now I am going to export this in the similar manner as the other reports. I am going to export then current. I am going to configure. Everything else is fine. Our Excel spreadsheet is there. Again, please take care that it is not XML but Excel spreadsheet that is the ending should be .xlsx. I am going to change the path where I want to save my files and specify the path that I want. And I am going to change the name. That is R5 underscore dbook dot Excel SX. Now that all the changes are done in the daybook, we are ready to send it away. This can take a little bit of more time because it's the entry of the entire financial year that is passed in the daybook. This will enable the audit software to help you in the transaction testing. That is, you can put filters on this daybook and it can give you transactions above any limit that you want. The limit can be 5 lakhs or 50 lakh or some other. It can tell you what entries are passed in which the debit and credit amounts are not matching. Another filter that can be used is that if there are any entries that are passed on the holidays, that is we might have to put an extra check as to why those entries were passed on such days. So there are different type of around seven filters that are applied on transaction level testing for this particular report. As you can see, this has been downloaded perfectly and now we are ready to upload all our five reports into the audit software and start our audit. Another thing that you can see is where I have saved these files. I have already created a folder of audit software tally data on my desktop where you can see all the five reports are saved similar to the naming convention that are used in the audit software. I can directly upload the files from here and start the audit. We hope that this video was helpful. Thank you so much.